I'm literally just gassing myself up right now, but I look damn good in these box braids. And let me tell you, it's a wig. Let's get into this video. <laughs> Hey babes, I added a new wig to my collection and it's box braid, so I can't wait to show you guys how I put it on. So my cousin did this really cool video that went viral on TikTok of her rocking these single box braids and I was like, I really want myself a box, I really want to get a box braid wig because I I'm obsessed. If y'all know, I love wigs and everything like that. So I bought myself a full lace wig from AliExpress and I linked up with a really talented hairdresser hair braider in toronto fun fact i actually known her since the fourth grade jackie hair by jacks on instagram and i asked if she can braid this wig for me i sent her the picture what i want and the color and everything and she did it and she did an amazing job i can't believe that she actually like did this wig and everything and she's so talented and i'm so grateful for her for doing it for me so yeah so right now i am just putting on foundation onto my wig i did make my wig a little bit darker because when i do wear full face and makeup i tend to contour around the perimeter so it looks kind of crazy without makeup but it makes sense so right now i'm doing the ball cap method and how i do the ball cap method honestly i'm not the greatest greatest person you know I'm not the greatest at this method, but I make it work. So if you've seen multiple ball cap methods, it's the same thing, you know? So using got to be glue spray, spray it down. And the only thing that I do differently is that I actually wrap it. So you're gonna see me use a Hair Gallery International Edge Melter, which I love. And I'm gonna actually wrap it around my head to help speed up the drying process. And I also feel like it melts a lot better into my skin. And I did add the ear holes afterwards. I'm like, something's not right with this ball cap method. And I'm like, mm, that's what it, that's what I forgot, the ear holes. So right now I am just cutting the bald cap or the stocking. And obviously the glue dried for a lot further on my forehead. So no worries. So you're just gonna cut out the excess stocking. And then I'm just actually gonna start lifting up the bald cap or the stocking closer to my hairline. So that way I don't have a whole bunch of just like I don't have a whole bunch of random stocking on my forehead. I'm not gonna use that. But besides the point, I'm still new to this method. I usually don't do this method often, but I just feel like for a full lace wig, it's definitely needed. Fun fact, I end up cutting too much of the stocking cap and I had to redo this entire process again. So when you see me putting on the foundation, that's a completely different stocking cap. And next I'm putting some foundation onto my bald cap so that way it blends a lot better to, into my forehead. So this is also a very important step is just because obviously the cap is white and I don't want it to be under my lace. Even though I colored my lace, I still have to do this method and it's just going to blend really nicely. You're going to see the next step. So obviously I'm filming a TikTok. So I'm taking the got to be glue and I'm using it as like the lace glue and I'm using it on the perimeter of my stocking cap and this is going to help melt it into my skin and also it's gonna be the glue for when I apply the wig. I never wear my wigs longer than a day, so I'm probably gonna take this wig off tomorrow. So for me, everything's very temporary. Temporarily, temporary. <laughs> and so pretty much I'm just, up, I'm treating it like a glue even though it's a gel, but it works just as great and it melts just as nicely, you're gonna see. So this is what I pretty much do. And you also wanna work in layers and wait for the gel to dry clear. So another added step to this, I love to use the free spray on top of it. One of my girls taught me this trick. She says when you mix the two together, it's like super stronghold. So I'm actually spraying it on the edge where I put the glue and I'm gonna be just mixing the two together. This gives me such an ultimate hold. It also melts the lace really nicely as well. So I'm gonna spray that around my perimeter, mix it in, and then I'm gonna go back in with the got to be glue gel. I'm gonna put another layer on top of it and mix it all together, and then we're gonna apply the wig. One more thing, I do not blow dry the glue at all. I just let it get sticky on its own. 
It's wig time and obviously I'm gonna cut the lace off first. I do not know how to put it on and cut the lace when it's glue. Like I, I've tried and I fail miserably. So right now I'm putting the wig on top of where I place the glue between the, gal the bald cap and my hairline or my forehead. My forehead, there we go, that's, that's what we're saying. And yes, I know the lace is darker. Obviously when I wear this without makeup, I'm going to have to lighten up the scalp a little bit which won't be hard at all. However, when I finish my makeup, you're gonna see that everything blends really nicely together and I finesse at the end. So, you know, I always finesse. So right now, I'm just applying the wig on top of where I put the glue and I'm just making sure like all the sides are down first, the middle, sides, making sure everything fits. So just to let you guys know about this wig, I when I got the wig, I did bleach the knots myself. I did do a little bit of plucking. I did cut the wig around my ears before I gave it to Jackie. That way, I didn't want her to um, put a braid on where my ear is supposed to be. So I made sure I customized it everything before I gave it to her that way it was just a lot easier for her to do I forgot to mention this wig when I initially got it is eight inches because I didn't need a long wig to add braids to it also one more thing the wig um, the lace on the wig was really dark I'm not gonna lie so if it looks really dark on me the lace itself was really dark so I just want you guys know that it, it was dark normally I'm used to transparent wigs but the last few wigs I've been receiving the lace has been darker so right now I am just using the comb and I'm pressing the lace into the glue and this is where the melt happens and I use scissors sometimes. Sometimes the scissors work. Using the back, using the scissors and pressing it in like it really pushes the lace into the glue and it gives you that melt. So I'm using that to really secure the sleigh and the melt and this like the way the lace melted so quickly into the got to be glue mixture it was like normally I have to like wrap it with the edge melter I didn't even have to do that like it was really like it melted it melted melted you're gonna see when I start styling the baby hairs how quickly it melted but do you see this scalp I was actually so proud of myself I was like well damn it's giving me scalp yes like I said the scalp is a different color but don't worry so we're gonna start razoring the baby hairs to be shorter because obviously they're really they're too long and she did leave out some baby hairs for me I didn't want too much baby hairs but she left just the right amount and I always suggest that you use a razor to cut your baby hairs if you use the scissors it's too harsh and too jagged razor gives more of a softer look to your baby hairs Next is one of my favorite products I've been using lately from CAP. It's their Lace Tint Mousse, and I'm using the shade Light Brown. So I'm gonna be using this to style my baby hairs, and at the same time, I'll be tinting the lace, period. And it's gonna really bring everything together. And I really love this mousse. This mousse is amazing. It styles the hair in place, no complaints. So when it comes to baby hairs, you know, I love extra baby hairs. Um, this time I styled it not so crazy to be honest. I think I styled it decent decently um, Everybody has a certain particular way when it comes to baby hairs. There's no wrong or right way So do not come for me if you don't like my baby hairs, you know end of the day. I like it and I Try my best to swirl swoop and style it and yeah, pretty much I'm just playing around baby hairs until I like the way it looks Next, I'm going in with the lace tinting mousse again, and I'm just applying it on top of my lace for it to really blend and really tint the lace to match my skin. Setting my baby hairs by wrapping a silk wrap around it, and then I'm going to do my makeup. Yes, I know the, the lace tint mousse did stain my skin, and it just wipes off with water. But now I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to come back and show you how I look. Let's get into it. So can we just get into this look though, giving you scalp? Do you see how my contour, remember I said I bronzed my contour a lot and it, it just gonna work out when it comes to my scalp. And yes, I know the scalp's supposed to be lighter than your head top, but still, it worked really well. Like the way it blends, the way it sat, oh, everything about this is just, I'm obsessed. Like this is my, my favorite wig ever. And I haven't had braids like this since high school, y'all. And I'm just feeling myself. I'm just feeling like a baddie. Y'all need to go hit, hit up your local hairdresser 
and get yourself a braided wig it's definitely a must it's 100 percent everybody needs a braided wig in their closet and if you don't have one i don't know what you're doing with your life but thank you so much for watching this tutorial let me know what you think of this wig let me know if you're down to get yourself a braided wig it's super easy to get one like i said get a full lace wig hit up a local braider get it done and you know just flex just flex join the crew and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel bye bae see you later